It will not be tabled. Question number 10, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of State and Enterprises and asks, does he agree with the finding of the Deloitte report on Treasury's monitoring of solid energy that, quote, well, you didn't get an invitation because enough Tucker. Um, Order. Quote. That's what happens when we get interjections when a member's attempting to read out a question. Will the member please start again? Thank you, Mr Speaker. Appreciate that. De no, no, definitely not. To the Minister of State and Enterprises, does he agree with the finding of the Deloitte report on Treasury's monitoring of solid energy that, quote, the removal slash refreshment of a board, of board by ministers is a crude lever and has a high threshold for use? Notwithstanding this, with the benefit of hindsight, it is evident such a move may have been warranted, unquote. If not, why not? Honourable Tony Ryle. Mr Speaker, with the benefit of hindsight, yes. And as is pointed out in the Deloitte report, this would have ideally happened in 2008, when the previous oh. government could have rejected the company's statement of corporate intent. Uh, I think at that time, though, that the then Labor government was behind the eight ball trying to minimise its looming defeat. It's worth understanding that the company's collapse is due to two main reasons. Its investment in non-core enterprises that ultimately proved unsuccessful and a 40% collapse in world coal prices in the middle of 2012. Supplementary. Supplementary question, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Does his government take any responsibility for solid, energy, for, for solid energy's bank lenders having, quote, a view that SOEs were backed by an implicit government guarantee, unquote, as stated on page 52 of the Deloitte report, given that in February of this year, the Finance Minister said in regard to solid energy, quote, we will not let it go into receivership, unquote. Honourable Tony uh, Mr Speaker, it's absolutely clear there is no guarantee from the government to the lenders of solid energy. Those lenders made their decisions based on the information that the company made available to them and their understanding of the coal industry and the investments made, and they must take responsibility uh, for the lending that they made. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Which of Solid Energy's five major bank lenders, ANZ, ASB, BNZ, Westpac and the Bank of Tokyo, had a view that the SOE was backed, quote, by an implicit government guarantee, unquote, as found by the Deloitte report? Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, Mr Speaker, that would be a question that would be better put to Deloitte in another format, Mr. because Speaker, I don't know. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. Uh, Mr Speaker, that was a very simple and precise question. It may be the Minister's opinion it should go elsewhere, well, but he is the Minister no, of SOEs. The, di the difficulty with the question is it said which of the lenders, and then quoted the banks, had understood they had the implicit guarantee. Surely that's a question that only the banks could answer. I can't see how the Minister could possibly answer it. Well, with respect, point of order, Mr Speaker, the Deloitte report was about the monitoring of treasure, Treasury and the Minister of Finance and SOE's involvement in that. It was a, a report about a government department and their monitoring. It wasn't about a bank's view, it was no. about statements that were made by a minister which the banks took account of. Yeah, the difficulty is that that may well be so, but the member's question was which of the banks took an implicit guarantee. But if, if the minister wants to add further, I invite him to do so. No, does the member have... Does he have a further supplementary? So. Given that all of uh, Solid Energy's major bank lenders, ANZ, ASB, BNZ, Westpac and the Bank of Tokyo, have interests in SOEs and proposed mixed ownership model companies, can he rule out there being any flow-on effects from Solid Energy's dire financial position, such as lending constraints or higher lending costs as a result of the realisation that SOEs and mixed ownership model companies are not backed by an implicit government guarantee. Honourable Tony Mr. Speaker, I, I, think, I think that matter is hypothetical. It's an evident fact that the state-owned enterprises are not backed by a government guarantee. Uh, what, the company, what lenders have to look at is the success or otherwise of the businesses and their, and their balance sheets. And in fact, banks may have drawn opinions similar to this opinion that was given to Mr Palmer and Dr Elder, and it is a quote, you're bringing private sector commercial disciplines and expertise 
Obviously, you must be because you're performing well. That's a quote that the member opposite made to Dr Alder in April 2012. Oh. Question number 11, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Corrections and asks, what are now...